Welcome to Robot Studio Tutorials. In this video, we'll walk you through the core concepts of the physics engine in Robot Studio and how different types of objects behave during simulation. Let's start with the fundamentals of rigid body dynamics. Robot Studio simulates physical interactions between objects using a physics engine. Every object in your layout is categorized based on how it responds to simulation. Inactive objects. By default, objects are inactive. This means they're not affected by the physics simulation unless you enable them. Fixed objects. These are stationary items like walls or floors. They don't move during simulation. Kinematic objects. These are controlled externally. Robots are a great example. Their motion is defined by inputs or programming, not by physics. Dynamic objects. These are fully governed by the physics engine. They respond naturally to forces like gravity, collisions, and other interactions. Once the simulation starts, you'll see how these different object types interact. Robots are treated as kinematic by default, but you can choose to exclude them from the simulation if needed. Robot Studio also includes a drag mode, which lets you move objects by applying force in the direction of your mouse movement. Keep in mind, if the simulation isn't running, other objects won't react to the dragged object. During simulation, all dynamic objects are affected by gravity. To prevent them from falling endlessly, Robot Studio uses a global solid floor. You can remove or reposition this floor depending on your setup. That's a quick overview of physics basics in Robot Studio. Thank you for your time. Please subscribe for more tutorials like this.